I'm Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. In this segment, we are going to discuss construction review services. Construction review services on retaining walls are simply that. It is the services of an engineer to review the construction of the wall. These services are important to the owner, to the design engineer, and to the contractor to ensure that the retaining wall is built properly. Most retaining wall failures occur due to improper construction. This illustrates the importance of the contractor in making sure that the wall gets built right. Let's take a look at some specific things that the engineer needs to review during the construction of a retaining wall. A comprehensive construction review program should review all elements of the retaining wall construction, beginning with the retained soils and the foundation soils and the reinforced soils. When you arrive on site, you want to confirm that the retained soils match the design criteria shown on the drawings. Similarly, you want to make sure that the foundation soils are sufficient to support the wall. Third, you want to make sure that the geogrid reinforced soils match the design drawings. As the wall is being built, careful attention needs to be given to the base to make sure that it is clean and free of loose or soft materials. Also, the base of the leveling pad needs to be clean and stiff and capable of supporting the retaining wall blocks. Next, you want to confirm that the stone used in the leveling pad is the correct stone and that it's densified to the requirements of the design. The next thing you need to review is the base course. The base course should be checked for level by the design engineer who is reviewing construction. You want to know if the base course began as a level course. Later on in wall construction, if it is out of level, it may be an indication of settlement. Also, early on in construction, this is the time to confirm that the excavation is sufficiently wide to achieve your geogrid lengths, and make sure that the correct block and the correct geogrid are on site. The next thing you're going to want to review is the drainage pipe. It's the correct material and that it is on site and ready to be installed. And also that the drainage column of stone is the correct material. Often, the drainage stone column requires an angular crushed stone material. However, a rounded gravel is what is delivered to the site. A rounded gravel has different characteristics and is the wrong material in some cases. Earlier, I mentioned that this retaining wall consists of the geogrid reinforced zone and that the blocks at the face are essentially erosion control. Because of this, the geogrid and the soil in the geogrid reinforced zone are 99% of this retaining wall. Therefore, they get a lot of attention. The, what we look at with respect to geogrids is that the correct type of geogrid is installed at the correct elevation and that the geogrid is the correct length. Additionally, we make sure that the geogrid is installed all the way to the front of the wall block without sticking out of the face. Another thing that we, that we make sure of in geogrid installation is pre-tensioning of the geogrids. We do not want the geogrid to be installed with waves or other slack conditions. This is easily accomplished by having a technician or laborer pull on the back end of the geogrid when material is dumped on top of the, of the grid. Because soil comprises the majority of the retaining wall, soil gets the greatest attention in construction review services. The soil within the geogrid reinforced zone needs to be checked by the engineer to make sure that it's the proper material, it has the correct friction angle, the correct gradation characteristics, 
and strength properties that the design requires. Additionally, in the field, we want to make sure that the soil is compacted in the appropriate lift thicknesses and to the appropriate density specified on the design. You will notice at this site that the rear area of sand is approximately eight inches high. That is because of this, this wall, we specified that the sand could be put in in lift thicknesses not greater than eight inches. Another second lift of sand eight inches high will bring the height up to this block. What we're going to see next is called a nuclear density gauge. It's going to be some photos and you're going to see that this material is checked for density using a special piece of equipment. In this segment, we discuss the importance of construction review services. Construction review services on retaining walls benefits everyone associated with the project. The owner, the contractor, the design engineer, and incidentally, all of their insurance companies too. With Retaining Wall Expert, I'm Joe Kowalski, right here, right now.